What is going on everyone, my name is Codemore and welcome to the very first episode in the new Beginner Java Game Programming Tutorial Series. In this tutorial series, you're going to learn how to properly make a full 2D Java game completely from scratch. It's going to be awesome. Now I call this a new series because I had an old series like this on my channel before this, but it wasn't that great and we didn't do things properly. But in this new tutorial series, we're going to do things properly and we're going to make a full 2D game from start to finish. Now you need to have a few things to get started with this series. You need to have basic Java knowledge. That means you already need to know how to write basic Java code and run it, and at the very least you need to know fairly well variables, methods and functions, and classes. If you know those four things fairly well, you should be good to go with this series because I'll explain almost everything else throughout the series. Now what type of game are we going to be making? We're going to be making a 2D tile-based RPG style game. But, the code that we write in this series can be used to virtually make any 2D game that you wish in the future, because I'm going to write it so that you can edit it a little bit and make virtually any game that you wish to in the future. But I'm going to focus on the tile game. Alright, now what are you going to use to write your code? You can use any method of writing and running your Java code that you wish, but I highly recommend that you get Eclipse. Eclipse is 100% free, the link to get it is down below in the description. I'm going to be using it in this tutorial series. It's a really powerful tool lets you write your Java code really easily and it lets you run it and debug your Java programs with a click of a button. I highly recommend getting Eclipse. I'll be using that through the series, but you don't have to. So if you are using Eclipse, head on up to the file menu and select New and then Java Project. If Java Project isn't there, it should be under the Other tab. But create a Java project, and if you're not using Eclipse, a Java project is basically just a folder somewhere on your computer that you keep all of your files in. So in Eclipse here, we're going to name it. I'm going to name my project Tile Game. You can name it whatever you like and select Finish, and that'll create your project. Again, a project is just a folder if you're not using Eclipse. Now we're going to have to actually add a few files to this project. If you're using Eclipse, right-click on the SRC folder and select New and then Class. This is just going to create a regular Java file for us. So if you're not using Eclipse, just go ahead and create a regular Java file inside of your project folder that you made. We're going to name this class Launcher, and I'll explain why we named it that in just a few. And I'm also going to put it in a package, dev.codemore.tilegame. Now you don't have to use packages. If you're unfamiliar with packages, look them up. They're really easy. They're basically just used to organize your code in our case. You don't have to use a package. I highly recommend you do. If you don't know what they are, please look them up and uh, begin using them. It's good to get in the habit of using them, but you don't have to. So all this is doing here is creating a regular launcher.java file, and if you put a package in, it'll put it underneath your package. So here we have a public class launcher. This should look fairly familiar, just a regular public class. Now this launcher class is just going to be responsible for one thing. All this launcher class is going to do is start up our game. So what's the first thing that runs in a Java program? The main method, right? So we're going to have to create the main method, the public static void main and string args. And you've all seen this method before. It's the very first method that every Java program calls when you first run a game. So all this launcher class is going to hold for right now is this main method. It's going to get our game started. Now in the next tutorial series, we're actually going to get a window displayed to the screen and we're actually going to begin coding this launcher class as well as another class. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this tutorial series. It's going to be awesome. I hope to see you next time.